the sperm oil remains perfectly fluid. Yet upon exposure to air, it begins to concrete. It had cooled and crystallized to such a degree that when, with several others, I sat before a large tub of it, we found it strangely concreted into lumps. It was our duty to squeeze these lumps back into fluid. A sweet and unctuous duty. No wonder that in old times the sperm was such a favored cosmetic. Such a clear, such a sweetness, such a delicious. Mollify. As I sat there, cross-legged at the deck, I bathed my hands among those soft, gentle globules as they richly broke to my fingers and discharged all their opulence like fully ripe grapes. I forgot all about our horrible hunt and that inexpressible sperm. I washed my hands and my heart of it. Squeeze. 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 All the morning long. Squeeze. Squeeze. I squeezed that sperm till I myself almost melted into it. I squeezed that sperm till a strange sort of insanity came over me. And I found myself unwittingly squeezing my co laborers' hands in it, mistaking their hands for the gentle globules. Such an abounding, affectionate, friendly, loving feeling did this avocation beget. At last, I looked into their eyes as to almost sentimentally say, Oh, my dear fellow beings, why should we longer cherish any social servants? Come, let us squeeze hands all round. Nay, let us squeeze ourselves into each other. Let us squeeze ourselves universally into the very milk and sperm of kindness. Would that I could keep squeezing the sperm forever.